local second grade student turned an art project into a published book. And joining me live now to talk about it is eight-year-old author Ariel Higgins. Uh, so Ariel, tell me, how did this all get started? This got started with this project right here? Yes. So at school, I go to the Kincaid School, and we did this project called Habitat Fair, and each class is assigned a habitat. And our class got the desert, and our teacher picks out animals for each of us, and I got a bobcat. And then what did you decide to write about the bobcat? What's the story about? It's about a bobcat mom with her four babies, and they go out for an adventure in the desert. And like, I weave facts from my research, which is right here. This is all my research. And I like got facts from here and weaved it into this story. And so how did you even think to publish the book? Why did, what, what made you want to publish? Well, a lot of kids in my class loved it. So I thought that people, kids all over the world will love it. So I just published. That's a, I think that's a brilliant idea. We are very proud of you, and that's why we wanted to have you on the news today. So you even, it's, your dream has come true about getting kids across the world to read it. Somebody on your Amazon page where you can buy the book even said that, even gave you a review, right? Yes, I got three reviews. And where were they from? Here in Houston? Of two were from here in Houston, and one was from all the way in Australia. How happy did that make you? Very happy. It and it like the, I got the reviews like a day after it got actually on Amazon. Wow. So what's the book about? Why should people go get your book? Because I like feel it's how I wrote it is a nice way to like just like incorporate facts inside the book. Like mm -hmm. I made it into a story that kids will enjoy so that they will read it and then they'll f think like it's not just a boring book and it's like it's, it's like actually a story and kids like that. So. Yeah, and you walk away with knowledge about bobcats. Yeah. So that's what parents love too, an educational and entertaining book. So what's next for you? Are you gonna publish more books? Well, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna publish this book I'm working on and I have a twin and we're like gonna switch out at school and go on a lot of adventures. Oh, how fascinating. How did you know how to publish your book. I mean, now you're a published author, so I'm sure you'll write more, but how did you know in the beginning how to do it? Well, I just knew, I just, well, my dad helped with the formatting, and then we uploaded it to the Amazon Publishing website, AKA um, KDP, which is for Kindle Direct Publishing. Oh, and, I didn't know they had that. And like, if you, um, and they'll reject it if they see something wrong, but oh. but in this case, everything was all right, so it just went to Amazon. Oh, so it's as easy as that, and then people can download it on their kin uh, on their Kindle too. Yeah, y you do the Kindle afterwards. Oh, okay. And how are the kids at school reacting now? I mean, they liked your book. That motivated you to publish it. What do they say about you actually having a, a whole printed book? They were really amazed, and I brought a copy to the class for everyone to read. They you loved. Did? Yeah, and like everyone was like, everyone was like so happy, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, I want to read this!" And then they started making a line, and like, and like almost the whole class was lining up for, to read it. No kidding! How did that make you feel? It made me feel really happy. And each Friday, we do this thing called Book Buddies. We read to pre-Kers, and like everyone wanted to read my book to them. So, I. So they like my friend read it first and then she gave it to me and then I read it to mine and then like four more people wanted to read it. Wow. And, and what's everybody's favorite fact about a bobcat after they read your book? Well, they love how I tell them what, how it's named. Oh, how is it named? Well, the tail is really short and you know how there's the bob haircut, like it's oh, short wow. tail so it looks like if it was bobbed. So that's how they got their name because it's like really short. No kidding. As that's you, it? As you see. Yeah. As I can see right here, because we've got bobcats in here. This is the project that started it all. What advice do you have for other people trying to publish a book? Well, all you have to do is it's just try to, like, all you have to do is just, like, try your best, and you can just, like, you can take pictures of your illustrations on your book, add the text, and you can, you can do it. I see. Let's see. Just I'm going to take a look at this. Ariel Higgins, thank you so much for joining me. Fascinating facts about bobcats. We've got, you, did you draw all of these? 
Yes. You drew the illustrations too? Yes. Wow, you are a talented author. We're wishing you lots of success. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Anything you'd like to say before we let you go? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, thank you, Ariel. It was great having you here. One more look at A Day with a Beautiful Bobcat by Ariel Higgins.